Chapter 10 Hospital Operation MICN Procedures All field personnel should understand the complexities of hospital operations in support of the incident. When contacting the local base hospital to notify the MICN of an incident, the MedCom provides a brief description of the scene, an estimate of patient count, and any specialty resources needed for pediatrics or burns. In response, the hospital changes its mode of operation based upon anticipated needs of the incident. If the incident involves multiple patients, MPI, the hospital will follow internal procedures to secure hospital beds. If advised of an MCI, the MICN will begin the process of networking with other hospitals to alert them of the event and secure beds for patient destinations. The MedCom will contact the closest base hospital to the incident and not necessarily their assigned base or trauma base. This is primarily due to the number of patients the closest hospital will receive who transport themselves to the hospital, as well as the likelihood of the news media responding to the closest hospital to the incident. When the MICN receives the radio call from MedCom, they will activate the Ring Down line. The MICN contacts area hospitals in the BLS MT1 zone and requests that they tune their radios to the ALS area talk group. All hospitals tuned to the talk group can communicate with each other. The ALS talk group, ALS Areas 1 through 6, is essentially an RCS version of a chat room. It is important to understand that when the radio is tuned to the ALS area talk group, no BLS traffic can contact the hospital. The controlling base then performs a roll call and gives a brief description of the incident and requests the satellite hospital bed availability. The MICN's primary responsibility is communicating with MedCom to arrange for transportation of patients to receiving facilities. Care should be taken to avoid overloading any one hospital by staggering the disposition of patients. Attempts should be made to avoid sending the maximum number of patients that a particular hospital can accept prior to sending patients to other hospitals with bed availability. Information relayed to the MICN during an MCI should include the patient tracking number, the last four digits of the DMS triage tag, the respective triage category, the patient destination, and the identification of the transporting unit. At the end of the call, the MICN and MedCom must verify that all patients have been transported and to which facility. This tally will allow for proper patient tracking and facilitate repatriation with family and other agencies. Staffing levels at the base hospital vary throughout the county, but the MICN should consider calling another MICN to the radio room to assist with the logistics of the MCI. The initial MICN remains in radio contact for the field unit, while the second MICN can assist with patient tracking, following bed status updates from the other hospitals, completing the status board or worksheet, and will communicate with the other facilities. The MICN should also communicate with ED and admission staff to prepare them for self-transported patients, media, and other resources that may present to the hospital closest to the incident.